uh, apart from that, in 2010, you also did a project with Danny Perez for mm -hmm. the Guggenheim in LA. Uh, is, New is, York. is that in New York? Sorry. Yeah. Is that yeah. present on the record? Is uh, that, that not as much. Um, that, interestingly enough, we we did the we released some of the music we did for that installation on a 12 inch for Record Store Day, and we did we made that release at the studio while we were doing Centipede Hertz. So they were happening a little bit simultaneously, but um, I don't know if really, I guess there's one track on from the Guggenheim that was a panda bear contribution, because a lot of the stuff for the Guggenheim was all stuff we made as solo artists. Um, and he used this King Tubby loop for an early version of a song that even though we used it in the Guggenheim thing, went on to be part of his, uh, his solo record, Tomboy, and um, the song Scheherazade on that. But he didn't use the, the King Tubby loop, and, uh, and we had always kind of liked it and thought it sounded really good. So we, you know, from hearing it as part of the Guggenheim thing, so we were sort of re reclaimed it. You know, once he discarded it, we sort of took it back and, you know, decided we wanted to use it in Animal Collective. And Dave wrote uh, the Mercury Man song kind of based off of that, that loop thing. I think Josh's yeah. songs too kind of extend that he did Josh's work that he did in the Guggenheim stuff kind of yeah. extended into working with us because he had been like really heavily working on solo stuff too at the time and eventually turned one of his solo songs into a song that he wanted to play with us on the record so it kind of informed that so and helped him along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, could you per perhaps introduce us to some of the stories told on the record? Mm. Um, well, the first song, Moon Jack, to me. Um, you mean like lyrically? The first song, Moon Jack, to me is about kind of traveling around with my family when we were younger and uh, taking like the drive from Baltimore down to Florida or wherever on 95. It's like the main highway that kind of goes up and down the East Coast. Um, and then and mostly like driving to from Baltimore to New York, you drive on it a lot. So there's a lot of like the rest stops and just the feeling of getting off the highway and on the highway and the radio. and aspect of it too, listening to music and how that influenced me. It's like a lot of what that song is about to me. Um, <laughs> Mercury Man, uh, I'm trying to pick out the ones that are like the best, best talked about. Mercury Man has to do a lot with communication and uh, maybe like not being able so much to, t you know, like being able to talk to people face to face versus how we communicate a lot in modern times through the internet or just via machines on telephone systems or texting and just my frustrations with new forms of communications and sort of like the robotic way of communication. There's a, you, you already said something about monkey riches, mm -hmm. which to me seemed, I couldn't hear all the lyrics mm -hmm. correctly, but it seemed a bit fueled about frustration, perhaps the same frustration, I don't know. I don't know about frustration, maybe frustration, um, just with finding my place in, uh, in you know, doing good things for the earth, or it's like a really basic song, just helping out where I can, you know, basically about that. Um, which em emotion has proven to be the most fruitful when it comes to writing lyrics? Hmm. Is that are there those angry emotions or? No, I think we, I think we, we like a good balance, you know. Um, I feel like there's a sweet sadness to a lot of like the melodies and stuff that what we do so maybe that that in there but i don't think all of our music is totally sad i think there's a joy and happiness to the i mean it's weird because i feel like for us there's a weird juxtaposition between the joy of just playing together and like what that's supposed to create for people in a live environment versus maybe what the songs are really about which could be sort of like a sweet sad sort of thing all around so yeah it's a weird combination of things in there all right, last question. Uh, what is the best compliment someone can give you about your music? Um, I mean, it's nice for people to say they like it, not they're <laughs> stoked. But uh, I mean, I like when people say it sounds like you guys, you know, someone's like, you know, sounds like Animal Collective, you know, or like it doesn't sound like anything else you've done, but at the same time, it still sounds like Animal Collective. I really like when people say that. It's nice when people say it helps them through hard times or, you know, it's there for them. Does it happen it's a lot? Kind of, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, People that email us uh, less than they used to. We used to, you know, have a very active email account for fans to write into, but now everyone just assumes they can contact us through Facebook, which we're pretty much rarely on unless we need to say, you know, make an announcement or something. Um, so it happens less, but yeah, I mean, 
you know, just in the last year alone, I feel like I were meeting a lot of people who had, had like uh, friends or siblings pass away who uh, you know came to our shows and wanted to talk about it and got through it with our music. So. Are you open for that? Are I we mean, hoping for it? Yeah, open. it's. I mean, oh. it's it's quite a big thing when people well, I, come I up with their I, stories and you yeah. have to say something. I mean, I, I hope which that, comforts them. Yeah, it's I, hard to communicate. I think a lot of times with I mean, you know, with fans, we yeah, we're, we're, it's very. You feel like they people know more about you, or you know, think they know maybe more about you than you obviously know about them because they at least know you through music. So it's hard to know what to say or hard to communicate, especially because our music is also we see it as something also a little bit different from who we are as personalities or individuals, so it is, it's definitely like a weird. So mm -hmm. how do you deal with it? You just kind of do, we're nice guys, yeah. you know, <laughs> like we're not. <laughs> trying to be empathetic. Yeah. Yeah. Smart, <laughs> smile away. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks a lot guys. All right, thanks. Thank you.